Welcome back everyone. I've got a new technique I want to try. I've been seeing it on YouTube, so it looks simple. And when it's too good to be true, it usually is. So today is our test. We're going to be throwing all kinds of things in these two coasters. Alcohol inks, some pinata white, more alcohol inks, some gold alcohol ink. I've got some interference gold mixed up. I've got some iridescent flakes we're going to put in and let's see how this works. So I have mixed up, um, medium density one-to-one -one resin and it's on the thicker side because it does cure in eight hours. So I'm going to just drop some of these iridescent flakes in first and they should sink to the bottom. Not many to give it up oh, that one was no good should give it a little bit of shimmer hopefully this is a success i don't see how it can be but we're going to try so we're going to get these in there just random everything is random on these so whether it works or not <laughs> i have no idea okay so the idea is to put everything in randomly and then we're going to swirl it at the end and i guess the thicker the resin the better it works so i chose peacock colors because i haven't done that yet and if it works i think it'll be really pretty so let's start with the purple and again we're just going to drip it wherever you want that's what i hear We'll do them a little bit different. And as they move, we add more and it's kind of like layering. Oh, let me shake this up. I didn't shake it. If it works, I think it's going to be really pretty. If it works, I'll do a whole set. I really was only going to do one, but I was able to, I was using the resin for something else and I had enough to split it into two. So maybe it'll work. All right, we're just gonna let the alcohols do their thing for a few minutes. Again, you just, no rhyme or reason at all where these colors go, wherever you want. We're just gonna let it do its thing. See how it's separating? So I want to let it just sit there for a moment and then I will come back when it's done moving and add some more. They're not moving a whole lot. So I'm just going to go in and add a little bit more of the colors. Now this resin is a little thicker. So, um, it probably won't spread like it would on a thin resin. Now I want to add some white and some gold. Not a lot, just a little, I think. I'm hoping it's not going to sink to the bottom, which it looks like it is. And then we want some metallics in here. Oops. I will be very surprised if this works. And then what you do is you take this interference, I guess any mica powder, but I saw them using interference colors. 
and you just kind of, I think I'll just do what they were doing. Just kind of swirl it in, in whatever random pattern you want. So I'm going to do this. Let's do this one a little different. It's pretty much all of it. So let's just use it up. Let's drip some in. little blobs. I'm going to be shocked if you're actually watching this video because that means it worked and I went ahead and put it on YouTube <laughs> because to me this is just a mess. It's supposed to be something that you can't screw up. I'm going to, I don't want to spray alcohol on it because that's alcohol ink. So I'm going to have to take my chances and torch this, which I really don't want to do. But I'm going to quickly. Now I'm going to let this sit for the next 10 minutes and then I'll come back. It's been 10 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just come in here and just kind of swirl some of these. Just kind of give it some interest. I could see the white that fell on the bottom, so I'm just kind of helping that white out too. It's got a skin on the top. I'm not sure why. So after that, that's it. That's all we do. We'll just come back tomorrow and see what happened. Hopefully it's not a complete disaster. I don't know what the skin is on the top. That's it, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Plot twist, everyone. As I said earlier in the video, I would be shocked and amazed if these came out right. So I don't know what I'm doing different than the videos that I've watched, but apparently I've done something different because I hate the backs. So the only reason I came back to you is to try to show you how I salvage them. So they are underneath my hands and I will show you the backs of them. They're all splotchy and blotchy and sunken, and I hated them. But I didn't want to just throw them away. I just wanted to, because the tops were so pretty. I love this side. This side actually is the best side. So what I decided to do is take this little bowl, and when it was pliable, I pushed it down in here and set something heavy on top until it cured. So now you have a tiny little trinket tray. I'm just going to go around this edge with a gold or silver marker. And that'll be that. 
So let me do that and we'll see how they finally look. I just used my favorite deco color pen in gold and I just went around these edges and a little bit on the inside, as you could see. I mean, I love the colors of this top. I just am not a big fan of the backs, which I guess you could treat it as a coaster that you meant to do these, but then I'm like, oh, we can make a little trinket tray. So thanks for hanging in there. I hope you learned some lessons with me because I certainly did. So either I'm doing something wrong or I don't know. <laughs> something didn't work out the way I planned. Anyway, I'll get you some end pictures. Thanks for stopping in. Hope you guys have a blessed day. See you later. Bye-bye.